everybody, welcome back to my channel. I have just a teeny tiny haul for you today on a product I have been waiting forever. I've been holding off forever on buying. And it's a brand new hair dryer. The hair dryer I've been using for years, absolutely years before, is seriously on its last leg. Previously I was using a Revlon hair dryer that couldn't maintain being on on the high setting. So I would click it to high, you know, I blow dry my hair and it couldn't stay on high for more than 10 seconds. So it would do this weird thing where it'd be like high, like blasting for 10 seconds and then it would automatically switch to low for 10 seconds. And what that did was not only it was just like really annoying to hear it go wee, woo, like just the two oscillating volumes, it just took forever to blow dry my hair. And I'm a girl who doesn't have a lot of time. I'm always on the go and I have no time to kill in the morning. I just need to hustle and get ready. So it was working so I didn't rush out and buy a new dryer but I saw a deal on this dryer and I absolutely had to snatch it up. I actually got this hair dryer on Groupon, on Groupon Goods, and it was there maybe a couple months ago. I missed the sale and you know I was really regretting it. And then I checked the a couple weeks ago and it was back again. And it was for the T3 Featherweight hair dryer. And here's what the box looks like. So this is a high-end luxurious kind of hair dryer. They carry this at Ulta. This brand, T3, they have many different styles. You can go on their website, I think it's t3micro.com. And what I like about this one is that it's the InStyle Best of Beauty Buys, has the InStyle Award, as well as the Allure Beauty Expert, you know, Editor's Choice Award. So, this is a really raved about product. This hair dryer has both tourmaline and ceramic technology, so it's aimed to like really eliminate frizz and help your hair stay silky and smooth. It's also called featherweight because it's really light, so that's also something I like because I have like medium length hair and I like to do a nice blowout. Holding your brush in one hand and then your blow dryer in the other can be really exhausting. So I like a light hair dryer. It was something I was willing to spend a little bit more money on this time around. So this is supposed to reduce your drying time by 60% and I can honestly say it has reduced it significantly. I don't know about 60% just on the dryer alone, but definitely more than my broken dryer that couldn't stay on high. It's definitely at least two times fast as that. So. I always keep on this like, you know, concentrated nozzle on the front of the barrel because I like to like, you know, blow it in concentrated sections on my hair. You can remove this part if you like a more large stream of air. Here are the settings right here, these little switches. You know, ergonomically speaking, sometimes I will shut it off when I'm doing my hair and I'll have to like, okay, re-click it on which is not so bad. It has a setting for high, setting for low, and a setting for cool. Cool actually works the best when the blow dryer is on low. And just so you guys know, I've only used this in action once. So, so far, so good. I'm really liking it. It has like this nice like white kind of carbon fiber print on it. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's really light. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and plug it in and kind of demo it just so you can hear it on the high and low settings. T3 on high, and this is the T3 on low. Another point I wanted to make is that since I do have roommates, I appreciate that this is not the loudest hair dryer on the planet because my roommate that her room is closest to mine, I have two roommates, we kind of have opposite work schedules, so mornings I'm up really early, occasionally she'll have an early morning here and there, but we work in different industries at different businesses. and. I have to get up most of the time a lot earlier than she does and I just hate, you know, waking her up in the morning. So I try my best to be quiet and I like that this hair dryer is not that loud. I wash my hair every other day so a hair dryer is something I was willing to invest in because giving my hair a nice blowout will help it last longer and look better on day two and possibly day three if I choose to not wash it that long. The way I'll use this dryer is I will blow out, you know, I'll air dry my hair as long as I possibly can and then I'll move on to blow drying it. What I'll do is I'll just like finger comb it and this is already after I've applied my detangler and heat protectant which is the, it's a 10 plus keratin leave-in treatment. I'll go ahead and like just finger comb it, flip it upside down, blow it dry on high. And once it's about 85 to 90 percent dry, I'll go ahead and put in my hair serum and right now I'm using the Kerastase Oleo Relax 
hair serum. It's in the orange container. I talked about it a lot on this channel and I think I have I'll link a blog post below um, on that product, but it's really great. And then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and clip my hair up in thirds, so I'll do the top section, the middle section, and then just focus on the bottom section with a round brush, and I'll blow out, you know, the hair like that. And that just really helps evenly distribute the serum and lock in the style and smooth out any, like, frizziness, because I do have some split ends, some hair breakage where my hair is really damaged and fragile, and when it's dry and kind of, like, stand up or look a little frayed, it's really important that I blow out my hair with a ceramic barrel brush with boar bristles so it looks nice and silky and smooth at the end, but this is not a review of my hair care routine. This is just a mini first impression slash haul on this blow dryer. I am really loving it. Another thing I really like about it is that it has a salon length cord. So if your outlet's across the bathroom and your mirror's on the other side, you can reach it with this long cord. I mean, it's so long that for my current bathroom, I have to keep it wound up because my outlet's really close and the bathroom's not that big. So this hair blow dryer was on Groupon Goods, which I like look at Groupon Goods. I have the Groupon iPhone app. I look at it every single day and I am terrible. I am always window shopping. I don't buy stuff that often, but I always look. I look a couple times a week. And they have so much stuff all the time. It rotates. They have everything from fragrance to pet products to rugs to chairs to all kinds of furniture, supplements, uh, stuff like this, hair tools, electronics, everything. So, like I said, I got it in Groupon Goods. That hair blow dryer retails for about $200. On Groupon Goods, it was $89.99. Plus tax and free shipping, it came out to $96.73. And I think that's a slamming deal for something that's about half off retail. You got it for free shipping. It's just an awesome hair blow dryer. I'm really pleased with it so far. And don't be surprised if you see it in next month's favorites. I just want to give you guys like my first impressions slash haul on the T3 Featherweight. And I hope you guys liked it. Please give it a thumbs up if you'd like to see more hair care type videos. And thank you so much for watching again. And I'll see you next time in my next video.